Hey everyone, welcome to Crystal's Literary Lounge. I'm Crystal, and today I'm going to be reviewing Slay. It is book 30 in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series by Laurel K. Hamilton. So, book 30, um, we finally get to meet Anita's family. So, her family comes to town because Anita is um, marrying Jean Claude, the master of the city. And of course, since he's like the vampire king of the United States, there's a lot of security. Um, a lot of pomp and circumstance, and is it? It goes horribly wrong. So there are orchestrated attacks um, on Jean Claude, his businesses, as well as other businesses and other supernatural creatures, and that sort of sets off um, like a chain of events and a chain of reactions. Demos, the dragon shapeshifter vampire, who um, also makes his move, and he wants to take Anita from John Claude and completely control and take over their power base. This book was better than Smolder, but it still isn't the Anita Blake from, from old, like from the beginning of the series. So I gave it three and a half stars. I feel like the series is suffering a little bit because there are just too many dancers for Anita. There's just, there's just too many partners at this point. I, I'm okay with um, the poly group, like that, that doesn't bother me. It's just that there are just too many that just, it's like every book we get a new partner, every book. And you don't even have time for the original poly group. She doesn't have time for the, it's like Micah, Nathaniel, they're basically afterthoughts. The only character that seems to consistently have screen time with Anita is Nikki, and that seems to be like her strongest relationship is that one. Not even her relationship with Jean Claude. This is going to be spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers for the book, stop now. <laughs> uh, but spoilers incoming. So I was disappointed in how easy it was that they killed off Demos. Like, I thought for sure he was going to be. The big bag vampire for a few books and it was going to take a lot to kill him off because he's supposed to be like this ancient vampire he's a shapeshifter and he's a dragon and they killed him in like no time <laughs> so that was a disappointment it was nice to see olaf he was there at the very end but it was also very weird uh, because he explains that you know he didn't mean to kill that nurse previously that was just an accident because he didn't have control over like his his beast since he had just became a shapeshifter. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna hurt anyone in the United States because I made promises not to do that. So everyone was like, oh, okay. And he's like, oh, hey, since I didn't really get to hunt or participate because this hunt was like nothing, can, I'm just gonna stick around and, and like hunt the person who like betrayed you, Anita. And she's like, oh yeah, like that's, that's fine. I don't know, it was just very weird and it didn't seem very like, in line with Olaf's character. So, it's a little weird. I'm not sure where that's going. But I will probably just continue to read it like I have been through my library. Um, and I will say, like, my favorite books are the ones where it's, like, kind of like the beginning uh, of the, the whole series, where there's this monster, there's an investigation, there's police work, and then she's like hunting it. And then I do like when Olaf and Edward and everyone is there with her. And like they help her out. But I don't know if we're ever going to get back to anything like that. Every once in a while we have a book like that. Um, but this was definitely relationship based a lot. Again, not in the sense that relationship based like Anita and her poly group. Although there was some of that in there. This was more... Anita and her family and overcoming um, basically the trauma of her past. And I did like the, the family dynamic in a sense that she was realizing her stepmother wasn't the evil stepmother. Was she the best? No. But she was better and more understanding than the dad was or ever was. Especially now that Anita's an adult. So Anita kind of realized a lot of things. But I, I liked that. And when it came to the grandmother, I was like, oh man, I know a few Grandma Blakes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but overall, it, it was an okay book. 
Uh, it was better than Smolder, but still, you know, not not the best. Not uh, what I was hoping for for the 30th novel in this series. I'm not really sure where this series is going. They have kind of set up, uh, Hamilton has set up for like, I guess a new big bad, uh, but I don't know. It's kind of like a, I'm not sure what to feel or think anymore. So we'll see. That's my review and um, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.